I use JB Weld epoxy and uh, I, I've tried Aquaglass and a couple other brands that are you know made just for bedding I like this better this says five minutes set but it, it actually takes maybe 45 minutes or so before it'll turn loose and solidify. It's still kind of tacky and sticky in, in five minutes. It, that's the, one of the good things about it is it gives you extra time to work with it over actually a true five minute epoxy. Now I take some real, real fine walnut dust that I save when I'm sanding. And I put in there, and it acts as a colorant and a thickener. It'll turn this from a uh, kind of a liquid into more of a putty. When I put it in the stock, I don't like it running all over the place. I will say this, if it gets warm, when it's warm outside or in your shop, the heat will make this stuff set a little quicker. You better have all your stuff waxed and prepared before you start doing this. You better have all your ducks in a row because it is a bad feeling when you start uh, put this stuff on and then you realize you got something else left to do and you mixed all this up for nothing. It will set whether you're ready or not. Leave. I'm ready to go with that. Typically, that middle screw doesn't really need to be all that tight. Front and back screws hold hold it in place and carry the weight. Now, I'm not torquing those terribly much. I'm just setting it in there. You can see how that's squished out right here. That's about how much I like for it to squish out. I don't like for it to run all over the place. But I like for there to be enough in there to fill up that void and press the excess. So I'm really happy with how this turn, turned out. The barrel is still sitting nicely in its, in its channel. This Manlecker thing, you, you have to make sure that that thing doesn't touch hard anywhere in that barrel channel. I'm going to give that about, I don't know, 20-30 minutes to dry and I'm going to come up and check on it. Then I'll make me a knife, literally out of wood. A little sliver. Cut it on a bevel. It's got a little jagged edge, kind of serrated like a steak knife. About as sharp as a razor. And after this epoxy is gummy, it's, it's not sticky anymore. But it's just not hard either. When that stuff turns gummy, I'll take this knife and slice that off. And it won't hurt my metal. It won't hurt the stock. And it won't hurt the barrel. So that little, little homemade knife blade, it's soft enough 
but it's hard enough, it's, it's strong enough to cut that, that epoxy off of there. So, be back in a bit. It's been about uh, 35, 40 minutes. Can you see this epoxy just rolling off of there? Still, actually, a teeny bit soon, but not much. <clears throat> Maybe five minutes or so. It's way too soon to try to pull it out, but it's it's not too bad to cut that off the edge right there. Now I'll give it about another. Well, I don't know. 20 minutes or so for it to harden down inside before I try to pull the rifle itself out. Alright, what I do to check and see the consistency of my, my bedding compound is fill this that I got left over. And I think it's close. It's a, a little on the underdone side, but it's close. I'm going to pull my, my fasteners, take, take my screws loose. Give this thing a little little breathing room. Take the pressure off of it. Now I'm gonna put a little pressure on it. And try to lift it. And as I lift, I'm gonna tap. Coming out right there. Pressure and jarring. And I'm going to trim this up just a little bit. One reason that this is a little bit more aggravating to get out is because this is not a blued finish. This is some sort of a parkerized. It's got a little rough roughness to it. So the 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 uh, bedding in here is not slick as glass. It's got that same finish to it. What I'm going to do is trim up the front, up here at the front of the shell, front of the cartridge rather. And I'm going to just scrape this excess out of here. This stuff will get into places that you don't want it. So after you get it out, you just clean up those places. Remember I was telling you about those little holes that you got to be careful. Little That right there is one of them. It's that little thing sticking out. There's a hole inside that receiver. You can tell how flexible this stuff is. I'm cutting it off with my fingernail. But this is the key, this is the important part. This back, that middle screw, not the middle screw, the front screw, your barrel, um, or wherever that thing sticks down, and the front where the cartridge sits, your lug, lug barrel lug goes in there. And then the rest of it, I just got it over here on the sides in the back and that's it that one went pretty good I've got it trimmed off of the top and I will sand when I sand the rest of this with a straight block that right there that stain part will sand off so good night Gracie time to go home